Hey folks, welcome back to Gaming Garbage, where we take a look at games, review and preview the ones that we can, chat about the gaming news in the industry, which I just posted this last week's, and then of course stream for fun. You guys voted for the next Off the Cuff, thank you very much. And we're, this, so I do a random numbers generator, and you guys basically pick one, I don't even know what they are, until the voting is over. And so yeah, it looks like we're doing a Shadowrun game, this is called Dragonfall. I've never heard of these. Uh, from what I've seen in the trailer a little bit, it's 2.5D. And, half D. and uh, oh yeah, let me go through the options real quick. So yeah, you can change your difficulty, text speed, you can adjust your volumes. The camera mode and perspective I thought was interesting. And you can also have 4K, so I mean, hey, it's at least something, right? Let's go ahead and start a new game. Okay, okay. Yes, normal. Create your gender. There's only two genders. Wow, when was this made? I read, folks. I read so I could pick the right one. Uh, oh wow, there's all sorts of stuff. Uh, oh, they all have different stats. Interesting. Why just be a human? I'll just be equal on this one. Archetype. Uh... I'm I'm equal, so I mean it's not even gonna pick one. Oh man, drone combat? Hmm. That kinda sounds cool. Actually, let me go back. Uh, who's got a lot of intelligence? Not the troll. I guess nobody's really got intelligence. Not much. Let's see, I'll be the elf. Get a little bit more stats. And then I'm what? Picking uh picking something here. My name is Revan. I'll look at all these. Nope. Wow. Do they just keep changing? Oh there we go. I was like, what the crap? I'll go with Damien here. Um, yeah, some customization. Interesting. So Karma's the experience points. Yeah, to improve things, you gotta have the same number. So if your next one is four, you need to have four points. I got oh, grief. Good grief. I didn't necessarily want to stream this, so I gotta pick stuff. I'm not good at choosing quick folks, it's tough. Well, I did pick a drone, so I'm gonna want I'm gonna want that. Um Oh gosh, look at all this. You could unlock all of this? Oh my word. Wow, dude, this is, uh, that is crazy. Decking? I don't even know what that is. Basically, we're shoved it all into this drone combat. Wow, alrighty. There we are. Oh, and then your etiquette it can only be chosen once. 
Um. Security, I guess. So if you ever see a Riker in a game, it's probably me. Um. My street name. <laughs> my alias is, uh, is Detot, yes. I won't have to pick a last name. My phone's out. I better, uh, a better thing here. Uh, life is good. Let's see. Set up my stream. And yeah, folks, to let you know, I did a updated video, which will be the last video on, uh, on the Twitch stuttering issue. Um, and so you can watch it if you'd like, but basically in short, just hop into a party and if you need to, tick your party volume down one or two notches and just make sure you're, you're in a party every time you're streaming and that's going to fix your stuttering problem. That's it. So thank you for all of those that shared. You know, eventually we figured it out, which was great. East of Berlin. Gunshot. Good grief, that's any major city. Oh boy, if we're on a titan timetable, you don't want me leading. No, not unless I already know what I'm doing. So we gotta open a vault. Get to, yeah, basement. Vault files. Get the frick out. my life right now. Alright, so we basically got a team. We got a team of folks that are ready to jack this stuff. Quick and quiet. We try to create character development, but, uh, you know, it's tough. <laughs> it's not really that great. <laughs> but that's okay. We wouldn't expect much from an indie game, would we, folks? Oh, yeah, I'm grabbing a gun. You bet your butt. Um, interesting. I think the money is, uh, you on? I think that's you on. Man, if I'm going to have to select through stuff, people are going to die. Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be super like, super good at this. So you can adjust your camera in and out. That's kind of handy. Uh, you can only see so far, so you got to be a little tactical with what you're doing. Um, I don't even know how to... Maybe it won't let me know how to select stuff. 
So yeah, zoom in and out. I got that down. What's over here? Oh, nothing. Alrighty. And here with Off the Cuff, you know, we're just really seeing if Game Pass is worth it. We're going to be trying all of the games for 13 more months. And, uh, yeah, we really just want to see... Ooh, we really just want to see if Game Pass is worth it. Personally, I don't think it is. Um, I mean, that's my guess, but we also have uh, Payd3, Starfield, and uh, Liza P. And those are all fairly bigger games to bring to the platform. And that's all happening, you know, in just the next couple of months. Awfully flimsy. Maybe I have to smash that. Yeah, this is like some of the uh, older school games um, where you had to read, oh, brick. Uh, combat. Welcome to combat. Move your character. Let's see. To select a tile, move it there depending on the distance. It will cost one or more action points. Interesting. So, okay, this is all going to be turn based. Oh, yeah, show help, please. Oh, my gosh. Holy frick. Man, I don't have time for this. Wow. I don't even know what medium distance is. I'd probably know if I read, you know what I mean. We're gonna try. I can only do me, huh? I think. Or... Uh, override. <coughs> oh, so you get to control all of them. This is kind of like an XCOM thing. Interesting. Well, we'll get, hey, we'll get everybody into position. I don't mind that. Two action points. Make sure we have a crossfire going on or we'll kill this person. I mean, uh, put them to sleep, folks. The enemy turn. Why are they running? What are you doing? attack this person. I would love to attack this person. Yeah. I don't really want to shoot. You know what I mean? Enemy target. Wow, that was nothing. Alright, we're gonna have to kill him. Unfortunately. Now this sucks. Wounded. Nice. Burn! <laughs> Alright. Our first bit of blood on the floor. Wow, yeah, this would take forever to play, though. I mean, are we done? Are we done here? Because I'm, I'm happy. I'm content. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think we're okay. So yeah, when you get into combat... Oh, grief. We made too much noise, Rick. Shotgun man, we're gonna have to deal with this guy. Oh, I get to go again. I'm guessing. <laughs> Let's see. Mark's enemy. Okay. Yeah, we'll just do this. You're almost done. There we are. definitely kind of more like an old style RPG. Man, she's not... She just ran right past me. What is she doing? I don't think she knows, folks. Not at all. I'm kind of embarrassed for her. A little bit. <laughs> what? What? Are you kidding? Come on, just take her down. There we go. Apparently, I can't be up close and shoot, because I'm going to miss. With an SMG, folks. Whatever. We got an open door, we got an open door. I forgot. I forgot, folks. Oh, 
Oh, wow, dude. Yeah, this is... This is gonna be freaking brutal. How many times can I go at this? They missed. Ooh, they missed. I don't know how, but thank goodness. Really don't want to have to deal with that. I don't want you to go that way, sister. Well, that's kind of annoying. Ooh, that is touchy. I I like have to go that way. That's annoying. So, two different worlds is kind of interesting. You basically got the flipping matrix, and then... Uh, and, and then you have the real world. I guess you could put it that way. I feel like, though, this game would probably take a while. thing doing you're running for cover or what's going on here you know <laughs> I was hoping to make some jokes or something but I mean uh, this is interesting if you're looking to kind of play something in between uh, and if you like this type of style But I wouldn't, uh... Did I get it? Okay. I would, like, personally, I wouldn't pay for this. Visually, it looks pretty good. It probably runs pretty well, because it has to. Um, I do think, kind of the jacking in in the Matrix environment is kind of a nice little touch to a world like this. It reminds me a lot of, kind of, XCOM type of, type of style of combat. But again, like, this is not enticing enough for me to, like, want to play this. Uh, to, to, like, even finish the game. What's going on with my character? Oh, I got a bad guy somewhere. Security guard. But, you know, the reason I don't think Game Pass is going to be really worth it in the end is because there's going to be a lot of stuff like this. And it's not that it's, like, a bad thing. You know what I mean? It's not like having extra games or giving a leg up for some folks. Um, again, yeah, it's not its not like it's going to be a bad thing. But when you have a ton of content like this and they want you to pay 17 a month to just have random content, that's not what I'm looking for. I, I want something... I want more like Starfield. I mean, I'm even surprised, as crappy as it was, that they didn't put um, Redfall on Game Pass. And especially after it was a total flippin' disaster, uh, you know, they, we still don't have it. So it's just kind of weird. You know, maybe they, again, maybe they didn't plan on it, but as soon as it was junk, I'd be like, hey, we're shoving that on Game Pass, because that's a freaking joke. What the frick is that? Okay. Nope. Gosh dang. Got a few in here. Ooh, very nice. Kind of reminds me too of like um, Advanced War, uh, Advanced Wars on Game Boy. Such a fun game. Truly loved it. <clears throat>
summon spirit. That looks interesting. Yeah, they're going after my drone. I guess that's one good thing about my drone. Is that they're just they're just really gunning for it. You know, congratulations to them. Yeah, a lot of the content we're we're probably likely to see even even through the next 13 months. We've had a month already. But yeah, there's there's not going to be a ton of stuff to really do or focus on or anything like that. And uh, yeah, that that's going to make it tough. I feel like golly, still missed. Is that thing? I don't even. I don't even know. Man, I can't hit nothing. Oh, at least he's closer now. All right, we're gonna end this. I hope. Wow, really? Hey, there we go. So far, she's she's been the goat man. So far, she's been wonderful. Now, serious. Escape a chance. What? I don't. Wa oh, is he on us now? Oh my word. Okay, well. Where is she going? Oh my word, okay. I'm getting into it now. Can I kill this person? Yeah, there we go. There's some damage. Have to reload. Okay. That that's kind of interesting. <clears throat> yeah, you do have to think about this. Thank goodness. All right. I got a feeling though. Where is he even going? Yeah, what the heck is he doing? I don't even think he knows. That wasn't too bad. That was pretty freaking good. Oh my gosh. Yay, throwing knife man. Finally, he's got a hit on something. Yeah, what is this AI doing? You know, the AI is not overly intelligent, unfortunately. I would kind of expect a little more. Oh my goodness. Can we just kill this guy today? Thank you.
I think we're down in the basement. You know, I used to RP like that way back in the day. It was called T1. I don't think anyone even has the patience <clears throat> or a desire to even RP like that anymore. It was fun. You kind of get other players. You kind of like Dungeons and Dragons, except you'd ride it all out. And, uh, yeah, that was fun. Spent hours doing that. Did that for three years. <clears throat> but generally speaking, like there was there was a certain intelligence level of people that enjoyed that. And there were certain people that were just like, Where's the explosions? But you know, it's not for everybody and that's alright. It's kind of like uh <laughs> I gotta mention this guy. So there's a game store. Not you know, credit to him, hey, he is how he is. There's there's really nothing wrong with it whatsoever. And, uh, but there's this guy at Recycled Games, and he he helps run the store, and he hates Elden Ring, and I'm actually going to do a video on this, talk about challenging games, but he hates the game because it's too challenging. And, you know, if you're not good at something, that's okay. You know, you don't have to play, you don't have to waste your time, you don't have to prove anything to anybody, right, in the gaming space, it's all about just having fun and enjoying it, and kind of finding your type of game and your companies that you that you like and make hey make friends have a good time like there's nothing wrong with that um ooh I'm in charge alright But, uh, but yeah, this guy, you know, we, he was chatting about how, you know, the boss was too difficult. You know, if you need to spend three hours to, you know, kill the first boss, then, you know, it's a bad game. Like, it's bad design. And it's like, no, it's just a different type of design. Like, it, just because someone decides to make something a certain way does not make it bad. Okay, games are creative outlets to try to make money, right? Just like paintings just like music okay I don't like rap personally my opinion I don't think rap is music but that doesn't mean that I get to you know diss on everybody else right okay I, I should still have a level of ooh <gasps> she died oh my word wow Yeah, I didn't expect that. But yeah, the guy was saying, um... Holy frick, she looks... Horrible. Bertie's wagon. Very nice. What is she even doing? So this is probably supposed to be some of the development here. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. I'm not even sure what happened. Oh yeah, so okay, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die soon. Sorry, folks, I'm, like, all over the place. Can I use this? Uh, nope, can't use it on her. Okay. So, yeah, there's nothing wrong with, like, like disliking a game, right? We all like what we like. There's nothing wrong with that. But to simply say, simply because your performance is lacking, you hate, you hate the thing, right? Right? 
is like, if you don't like basketball, that's fine. But basketball in and of itself is not bad. You're just bad at the game. So I think we should remember that, folks. We shouldn't have everything centered around us in thinking that, uh, yeah, we, yeah, we shouldn't have everything centered around us. The world does not revolve around us, folks. And just because you think a bad uh, game is bad doesn't mean that it is. You need to have a reason. So an example like the monetization in games, I think heavily monetized games are bad games. Because it's not about content, it's about getting your money, and I, I think that sucks. I hate that. God, this guy sucks at shooting, bro. Alright. Missed. Dude. Very nice. Yeah, that knife. That knife does freaking more damage. That's hilarious. Yeah, take time to remember that. It's. It's kind of disheartening that that is the intelligence level of some people. And, you know, I even gotta check myself sometimes. Uh, can I not? I can't do anything. Okay, well. Working around. Yeah, if it's all about you, folks, you're gonna see everything that way. And, and too, I've, I've seen it so much. And especially the longer, the longer things go. Uh, you know. And, uh, it's just disheartening. You know. Like, we need people to eventually think outside of themselves if if they're ever going to be anything. If our world is going to get better. Bravo. Oh, there's still a bad guy in here? I just needed to take my turn, I guess. And yeah, there's some games I don't like either. You know, just like um, Call of Duty multiplayer. I'm not really a fan anymore. And it's because I suck at the game. But that doesn't make the multiplayer bad. The fact that everything is about getting a a closet full of items you're never going to use, like skins and stuff. Uh, and you can only wear one at a time, so you're kind of becoming a, uh, you know, a fashionable est, basically. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just clicking on stuff at this point. I hope it's good. <laughs> See, so yeah, like, a, a really good example, actually, for me is, um, Nair Autonoma. So, I couldn't play the game, I didn't like the game, because the camera angle was getting me killed. And there were literally enemies behind some cover I couldn't see because of the camera angle, and I would get shot 100% of the time. Couldn't avoid it. And a lot of people enjoyed the game. A lot of people, yeah, liked it. Uh, it got pretty good reviews. It's made an anime at this point. It's made, you know, fan-inspired art, all of this stuff. And, I mean, personally, just the game is not for me. But some people really like it, and that's okay. And just because you don't like something... Uh, good god, man. Can I, hit, can I hit this guy? They're not behind cover, so... Oh, great. Good job. Man, I would have picked a different weapon. Now this sucks. Ooh! Ooh! Let's 
Yeah, just remember that, folks. I'm gonna die. Drama kit. Very nice. Oh my word, we got a robot now. Target acquired. I die, whatever. Kind of over this game at this point. And I think for some folks, and I think too, this would be great for like a mobile game. But something to play on console. It's not utilizing. It's not utilizing stuff. That that's that's my problem. Yay. And yeah, I would rather... I would rather play something else. Absolutely. And uh, partly it's just all of the menus. Like, I'm not excited about all of the menus. Bob down! Oh my goodness. So this must be the boss, security captain. I'm already dead. I'm already dead. I am in so much flipping trouble, folks. This all. <laughs> He's gonna die again. <laughs> yeah, I'm so good at this game, folks. <clears throat> this is horrible. Okay, good. It <laughs> got somebody. Everybody's gonna freaking die, though. Oh my word. away from this guy. Yeah, he's coming back. Okay. Oh my goodness, another drone? Are you serious? Okay. 
I am. Oh. My freaking leg like blew off or whatever. Oh my word. Well. Well, that's the end of the game, folks. Thanks for voting for another wonderful thing on Game Pass. Again, I'll be posting another random numbers generator voting on Monday, tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, please vote. The more of you vote, uh, I, I think the, the better it is. So, yeah, hop on. Look for that in the community tab on YouTube. You can always find me also at Twitch at Don't Tread on Thee. You can find me over at YouTube at Gaming Garbage 22 Um... The Starfield hats should be done at the end of this month, uh, so be sure to look out for that. Um, two of them are already ordered. I only have ten, so I got eight left. And um, yeah, if you are interested in one, then we can work on shipping and and stuff. Uh, shipping is going to be through Shipex, so we can get wholesale um, wholesale pricing to make it a little cheaper for you folks. And then um, and the hat is going to be twenty nine bucks. I spent twenty nine fifty. On each hat, I worked and did the math, and so yeah, I'm not making any money on this. I just wanted to get a Starfield hat, and I figured that some of you would like a Starfield hat too. Starfield's going to be pretty big, I think, this year, and I don't think, um, yeah, I don't think I'll have trouble selling these. Uh, once I've advertised enough um, for to you guys, I'm going to open open it up locally, and I'm going to I'm going to throw them up there. And, uh, and sell them, so. Uh, let's see, what else? Yeah, again, don't forget to, uh, to vote. We don't wait for Monday for the next voting. And boy, hang in there, folks. Things are getting tough for a lot of people. <clears throat> we had some data come out economically of just people are feeling the pinch. People are having to pay for, um, you know, loans, student loans again. After three years of being in forbearance, uh, there's wildfires, there's flooding, there's crazy storms and tornadoes that are just ripping through stuff. We got a uh, hurricane. Not Franklin. It's, it's the other one. I forget what the name of the hurricane is now. Um, but yeah, we, we got another hurricane looking like it's going to hit Florida. And so, that's on the radar. Man, wherever you are, just pay attention to what's going on and, um, and have a plan in place. You know, you want to think ahead on that stuff. And yeah, just be safe out there. Until next time, folks. I'll see you on the next one.